Yeah, I just can't seem to win. Uh, I thought I had that uh, that caliper taken care of because for a while there it was working just fine, but uh, I jacked it up and uh, to look at the muffler here and it's locked up again. Um, I tried pushing the piston back in there and I've also tried cracking the uh, bleeder and the brake line itself to see if that would uh, loosen it up, but of course it hasn't. So I'm just going to have to break down and get another caliper, I think, because it's it just keeps locking up. Maybe I just got lucky that for that short period of time where it was working, but oh whatever. I guess that's fifty something bucks, which is not really what I wanted to spend. I was hoping it would just work, but yeah, I'm never so lucky. But I still got to do the shocks. But for right now, I'm looking at the muffler here. This one almost brand new. It came off the S10. I figured that that one didn't need one, so I'm looking at the uh, the one that's under here, and I think I can make this one fit. I just gotta cut this one off. As you can see, there's nothing left of the bottom of it anyway, so I'm gonna lop it off and. Uh, see if I can squeeze that one up there and get some of my bailing wire and wire it up and hopefully it'll be good to go. Save a couple of bucks on the muffler anyway. Well I'm a little bit happier now. I got this old hunk of crap cut off of there and uh, I went ahead and I slid this up there and checked the size of that pipe and it actually seems to slide right over top of that. And I figure if I knock it on there, I can just put a clamp on it and call it good. And it ends right about here, so it's a good length, or good enough length. So I'm just gonna end up wiring that up to probably this, where it was wired up before. And uh, I think I'll call that good. That's how we save money on exhaust work. Yeah, well, I do believe that uh, this muffler is installed. Now, uh, since this one was clamped before, and this hose has, or this tube has sort of a bend to it, uh, I wasn't able to get it all the way in the way I would have liked to, so I actually had to move, uh, let's see if you can get some light in here, I actually had to move the clamp further back out this way towards the muffler, um, and I'm hoping that it will rust in, or at least not fall out, it seemed pretty good, I smacked it on there with a hammer as far as I could before I put the clamp on, so hopefully that'll work and the front here there was already uh, quite a large piece of wire that was holding the old muffler on on the bottom so I just wrapped that back around to sort of hold it up and then I took a thinner piece of wire and wrapped it up around here to kind of snug it up to the top a little bit because that uh, big fat wire didn't really snug up very well but that's It'll sort of work like a safety wire and keep it from falling down once this one rusts out. So, let's uh, see if we can fire it up, see what it sounds like with my new muffler. Well, it's not new, but we'll see what it does. Yeah, that's a good angle. You can see what's going on. Well, you can't see what's going on when the battery's dead, so I'm going to charge that up. Well, hopefully the battery's charged up enough I can try this again. Let's see what it sounds like when I rev it up. 
see if it stays quiet. sounds halfway decent but uh, yeah I think I'll let it run burn off some of this crap I haven't really run it since I got it so yeah works good I like it. another free fix